We're at the front of a suburban service station <laughs> with a semi-trailer charging it. Yep. What are we doing? Well, we're attempting to uh, drive all the way to Canberra from Brisbane, so piece by piece, charging station by charging station. The precursor to this is of course charging and then the network associated with that, and that's probably going to be the largest challenge. Actually, I disagree. I think the largest challenge will be trying to stay away from uh, service station donuts. <laughs> but, so how many times are we going to have to stop and charge? I think it's going to be six, maybe seven in my calculations. And the, the maybe seven will be see how we do with performance over the day. Yo. How you going? Yeah, not too bad. Um, where's our next stop? Shell Tyndale. Shell Tyndale. Awesome. I just hate to distract you from all that driving you're doing. Uh, yeah, it's easy over here. <laughs> not riding in a motor roller coaster at all. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Shell Tyndale and the EV network charge. It's been very interesting understanding what some real world energy usage of the vehicle has been. We made it in with 3%, was that right? 3%? 3%, so a little bit of range anxiety. I feel like a modern day explorer, you know? With, <laughs> without risk, there's no reward, you know? In the olden days, they used to set off over the foothills with their back horses, <laughs> a compass. <laughs> Hopefully we'll make it. Hopefully we've got enough you know, food and water to make it. Hopefully we've got enough charge to make it. It's, but been, it's, it's been fantastic. You know what I've really been enjoying? Is all of the conversations with people who come to charge their car. It's been interesting, like yeah. uh, an older truckie who is like, I've never seen any other electric one, can I please get a photo? And then people pulling up into the driveway going, what's that truck doing blocking the charger? Well, it's charging. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's doing, blocking the charger. I think it's really cool. I'm going to guess we were the first electric truck here as well. I'm pretty sure we're the first electric prime mover to the uh, <laughs> Great House of Tyndale. So I think the whole point of this trip is to really showcase the possibility of electric vehicles for now and into the future. And of course, we talk about electric vehicles being local distribution and uh, short stop start applications, but the electric vehicle can be so much more than that. I think that's, that's one thing that we need to look forward to into the future, a stable infrastructure to support electric vehicles moving forward. Okay guys, day two on Day our two. little road trip to our nation's capital. Would it be fair to say, because uh, I certainly feel a lot more confident after doing this, like I think, <laughs> I do too. Yeah, like, you know, it's, oh, I took it out of a capital city as opposed to I'm going to take it across two states and uh, in, in, into another three territory, states. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we've done something else and learnt a lot from it. And got a, I've got a lot, I don't know about you guys being the drivers, but I've got a lot more comfortable with the vehicle and our operations this trip. But I, what I find the funny thing is, like, we're talking about doing this with a, the only electric truck of its type in Australia, really. At the yeah, moment. the only FH, yeah. And at no point have we even battered an eyelid about our support vehicle, which is a fully electric car. Yeah. When you speak to people that have electric cars and they go, oh my God, you drove it to where? More and more people now are familiar with how an electric vehicle drives, but when you transfer it into a heavy vehicle, I've heard the words eerie used, uh, spooky, just uh, uh, amazing, uh, astonishing. These trucks are a real bums on seat kind of experience because they're built to haul a load. They're not a uh, luxury vehicle that uh, somebody's purchased for transport. And look, after many hours on the road with this, on an interstate highway, it really is a nice place to be. And you find yourself hearing the other diesel vehicles coming towards you like from miles away. It's just a, it's just a very different way of traveling. And even down to the vibration through the steering wheel and stuff like that. Yes, it's a more digital experience, but it's, it's a very, very pleasant work environment. And uh, anyone who hops in one of these and drives them for the first time usually walks away astonished. So Tim, we made it. We made it. What a 
What, 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 a, what, what a trip. trip. <laughs> what a trip. It's uh, a unique one. I'll yeah, give it that. So yeah. we, we reckon about uh, 1.2 tonnes of carbon have been saved, 1. right? 1.2 tonnes for this trip compared to a diesel vehicle because of the renewable energy we put into it. So yeah, quite, a, quite an awesome achievement. How awesome is that? Yeah, yeah. In fact, it, we did it because we could and also it had a positive kind of emissions outcome. It's yeah. just fantastic. Yeah, no, I think I feel it, very good about myself right now. Oh, I feel very good about myself. It's nice to uh, have, have done it, completed it, say it's here. Did I tell you that we've sold one in WA recently that might need delivery? Oh, really? The Nullarbor in an FH? We might have to find someone else. Okay. <laughs>